Well, a man who lived in Macon uh, worked with NASA in the crucial time leading up to the Apollo 8 mission. Pepper Baker sat down uh, with his wife to talk about the contributions that helped pave the way for man's first flight to the moon. This is our family wall, and this is a uh, um, award of achievement for Marshall Space Flight Center. Martha Tisdale hangs all of the certificates her late husband Jerome Tisdale received after working with NASA in the 1960s. This is uh, Open House Marshall Space Day 1966 and that was before I met him. The two met in Huntsville, Alabama in 1968 while he was working at Redstone Arsenal, part of America's civilian rocket program. Jerome Tisdale worked for a NASA subcontractor during the Apollo 8 mission. He did technical writing, he tested the spacesuit and um, in the neutral buoyancy tank. She was an art teacher and was introduced to him by a friend shortly after he finished helping man's first flight to the moon. They were married less than a year later. July 5th, the day after Independence Day. Oh, wow. He lost his independence. <laughs> right before he went back to help with man's first steps on the moon. He was working Apollo 11. <clears throat> I think he was running cameras or something. He didn't really tell me much, but it was on Redstone Arsenal. And I was at home watching TV as they stepped off and the, the dust and the flag and the footsteps and the famous sayings and all that. She looks back on the memories now, sharing her husband's contribution to American history. Only the people that knew him knew what he'd achieved. He didn't go out and tell everybody. And that's why I wanted to, to show this. In Macon, Pepper Baker, 13 WMAZ News. Now, Martha and Jerome Tisdale moved to Macon in 1971. They were married for 29 years before Mr. Tisdale passed away from a kidney disease in 1998.